All right, guys, I am live now at the um, Palm Springs Dog Show. This is day two. I'm gonna take you for a little journey with me here. And uh, since you guys liked the video so much yesterday, I went out and got a little gimbal here, so it's gonna be a little more steady. And um, I'm gonna take you through and just show you some of the obedience stuff. And I've got a friend of mine who is going to, um, to join us. A woman who's done a lot of obedience. I'm gonna get her to kind of critique in here, but anyway. Um, let me switch this around so you can see where we are. This here is the obedience rings. Now, right now, this is rally going on here. Pan over to here so you can see the rally. Whoops, there we go. I'm kind of learning the gimbal as we speak. So there's a big Great Dane in there. Thank you, Davey, in there. Okay, so here we go. And follow him along. So in rally, what's really good is you can talk to your dog and you have these signs, as you can see them there, and the signs tell you what the dog and you need to do. Awesome, Davey, live from Seattle, here we go. So I'm just, I'm still working on this uh, gimbal here. I've got this DJI gimbal. But you see, this is, this is just a great little sport. This is, it comes, all the exercises like rally, um, open, and everything, they're, they're all in different levels. So this is probably a beginner rally. From what I can tell, that Janet would know the answer to that better. By the way, if you're watching, do me a favor, um, like the video. Helps me out a lot. Okay, Sherman's watching, I love it. See how fantastic this is? I mean, look how much fun they're having. And this is teaching the dog control, teaching the dog to, to relate to the person. This is just fantastic. I love, love, love seeing people doing obedience with their dogs like that. And anybody can do this, right? Anybody can do this. You can now, AKC is allowing, you know, mixed breeds um, to go in and do this. Okay, over there a little bit more. Oh, look from Ghana, that's awesome. And then everybody applauds. So here comes somebody else into the ring. Let's watch somebody else with a little collie. Should be fun. And what I try to do is I try to stay away from the people like I try to stay out of their sight like if you look at here there's this these baby gates and most um, AKC is going to have baby gates which makes it really easy to kind of border off the dog from other dogs going by North Texas is great I love it I love seeing you guys here thanks for joining me is the audio okay the sound okay there again I'm live I got no idea what you're hearing so and what it is in between the judge the person in the red right there let me zoom in a little bit here See, that person right there is the, um, that's the judge. Okay, so the new, new dog's gonna come in. i zoom out a little bit here. Actually, it's not that bad. Okay, good, I'm glad the sound is good. I got an extra mic here, I got a gimbal. I mean, I, I, I'll go all out for you guys. So let's see what happens. And there's, you know, there's time between. Sometimes it's kind of nerve wracking for people, but really, really nice to see. All kind of different dogs. There's a dog that looks like Maya. There's, there's thousands of dogs here today and yesterday. And Goofy, by the way, did not do great in obedience. I mean, he did great in obedience, but he missed a little thing which, which NQs him. But he got um, a really some good, good points in confirmation. His performance, I must say, in uh, obedience was great. And the eco, yeah, e collar videos are coming, by the way. We've got a lot of stuff coming. There's a lot, a lot of stuff coming on the member section. Um, e collar probably won't do it too much on, on uh, social media, but there will be. Be sure to join the membership section. Um, don't do protection training in my membership section. No, I don't do that. I mean, I'll have some people on. I'm going to do some podcasts with some really advanced trainers. I think it'll be really cool for you guys to see. But uh, take a look around while we're waiting for the next person. Just look around here. Look at this. Look how beautiful it is. The weather is absolutely beautiful today. I try not to put people too much in the videos. Some people don't like to be in videos. I don't know why. Now this person, see with the blue badge on, that person is called a ring steward. So they'll move things around. Oh, okay, so it looks like they're done with this grouping, right? So they're not gonna do anything else. So let's go over here now and uh, let's look at some, uh, some what's called novice exercises. And novice is where you start with your dog, like a beginner novice or a novice is an exercise you would start with your dog. And these people are a begin, these are novice uh, dogs, we novice bee dogs, so they've done some good things. I'm going to introduce you to a friend of mine over here. And this lady right here coming up, 
This is Rachel Amato, and Rachel is an amazing dog trainer and a very good friend of mine. Um, how long have you been doing competitive obedience? Uh, probably 10 to 12 years. Wow. I did breed for a long time before that. And breed means confirmation. I'm going to back us up a little bit so we get a better picture of us because we're all a little sunburnt. I need up. to grow a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I'm going to do it this way. There. Okay, we look better that way. So look at the background. That looks magnificent. So Rachel has done. Um, let me, oops, let me woo, zoom out. Um, I'm zooming out. It's not working. Okay, so you've done competitive obedience. Now, did you do pet dogs before you did competitive obedience? Because I know you're a great trainer. You've got a lot of good books and stuff on the topic. Um, I've actually did breed, and then I went into obedience. Today's is. There we go. I think we lost the. Oh no, there we are. Okay. And um, actually, obedience uh, came as a result of my experience in dressage, the horse world. Oh, okay. And when I stopped riding dressage, the closest thing to that was obedience okay and when you got into obedience you did competitive obedience as well as pets right we talked yes. about that I do a lot of pet training okay um, mainly and uh, compete in obedience myself okay good now um, here we're doing competitive obedience so hang on I'm gonna switch this around there we go and um, when we do competitive obedience, I was just telling the viewers that we start with things like a novice. So novice is the very, very, very beginners. That's correct. Right? And there's a beginner novice too, which is like That's the right. beginners of the beginners. That's right. So the exercises in that are like, what are they good for? Um, well, it's good to have a really great, you know, house companion, a dog you can take out to the grocery store with you, to, you, to the park, um, just a, a really well-rounded dog. And the skills that they need, they need to be able to stay, they need to be able to sit down, do some healing. Um, some of the healing is done on leash, so mm -hmm. it's not real, real difficult. Right. Uh, but it's the kind of thing that you would use in everyday life just to have a good companion dog. And also a recall, which would you... And a recall, absolutely. I always tell people the number one thing your dog should know is a recall. Absolutely. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. The dog, well, I think there are two things. There are okay. two that are two things that are life-saving. Okay. One is the stay. Right. Your dog has to be able to stay and not move. Mm -hmm. And the other thing would be a recall, that when you say come in an emergency or in any situation, that's a life-saving skill. They must so I say there's three things every dog should know who's well-trained. I said a solid stay, a solid recall, and a solid leave it. Would yes, you? leave it is great. Right. And leave it's a fun one to teach. Yeah, very too. fun. The the stay and the uh, recall can be you know time-consuming right. to teach. They, you have to work at that. So you've probably had a lot of hurdles in dog training, like where you have uh, like you're a great trainer, but you probably have have not qualified like we did today and yesterday <laughs> by the way <laughs> great dog but we didn't qualify so like what do you tell people who clients who say i train my dog i train my dog and he doesn't get it well most dogs will get it if the training is effective mm -hmm. and if you put the time in right there's nothing that you can't do if you put the discipline and the time in you can't control what happens at a show right. here somebody sets off a firecracker somebody um, has peed in the ring that you happen to be in yeah. and your dog is distracted by the smell or there's an in heat female somewhere oh, near yeah, exactly but if you've done your work at home you won't have any regrets. Those kinds of things you can't plan for, right. but at least if you put your time and you've known the, that you've given your dog a fair chance to be successful. And I always say that Tiger Woods doesn't win every championship, exactly. but he's still Tiger Woods. Well, there's there's a lot to be said for perseverance yeah, yeah, and yeah. tenacity. I yeah. used to wear a bracelet when I had a difficult dog that I was showing, and I had a bracelet that said tenacity. Oh, wow. Because I had to remind myself that I had to keep going. I couldn't give up. You can't give up. Because if you give up, then you fail. Exactly. Only time you fail is when you give up. And I mean, there's some amazing competitors here today, probably some of the best in the world. Exactly. Really and, tough. And when you're competing in the same ring as these people, it's an honor. Exactly. You know, and it exactly. doesn't make you a worse trainer or a worse, you know, handler if you don't qualify because there's so many different things that can happen. Well, just like right? today, some of the best trainers, some of the people who have come from miles away to show at this particular show have had glitches. Mm -hmm. Just, I mean, you know, we're dealing with dogs. Yeah. It's, it's, they're there not robots. There can always robots. be a hiccup. No, always be a hiccup. So if you see the dogs training, what would you say is like, what, what can fall apart? Like, what are some of the issues that you see that can fall apart? Probably the most um, common mistake or the most common failure is a dog that's distracted. Right. So the most important thing that I tell my students is you have to build a really solid bond mm -hmm. between you and your dog. Right. So that no matter what else is going on in right. the environment, yeah. that dog is going to listen to you, yeah. pay attention to you, and hopefully obey right. you. 
It's that connection. Exactly. Right? So exactly. I'm going to take a look over here. I'm going to just, hopefully this, this gimbal seems to be making some mistakes. First time we got this, so we're, we're just trying to, so I'm going to flip the camera around here and we're going to look over here and watch this little Doberman here doing an obedience routine. So they're healing, what are they doing now? Okay, this looks like an entry level class. So this uh -huh. is a beginning dog. Uh -huh. um, they are working off lead though. So right. it's, it's obviously at a level that they're allowed to take the lead off. Right. So she's asking the dog to move with her. The judge is marking um, whether the dog is in position or not and okay. how well the dog is connected to the handler. And why now, is that important, curiously? Well, that's the whole connection issue. Now she's leaving the dog to do a recall. So the dog has to stay okay. until the handler turns around and calls the dog. Okay. And let's see what happens. Okay. The dog's distracted. You can see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But look at the way that dog came in. Fantastic. That, that, Beautiful. That handler called the dog, even though there's dog barking in the background. Yeah which would be very distracting. Sure. That dog came in like a bullet to bullet. its handler. I thought it was amazing. Yes, and and that's the kind of connection you want. Now, I sometimes say, and people kind of fault me for it, that, you know, sometimes a woman, a smaller woman, have a harder time with a breed like this, but this woman has done her work. Yeah, exactly. Right? And she's can tell. probably gotten a really nice dog from a good quality breeder, and she's worked with it since it was a puppy to get this kind of connection, and that's what it's about, right? Exactly. Exactly, and you can tell, look at all the things that are going on. There's people walking outside yeah. the ring. There's dogs barking. I mean, yeah. we're at a dog, we're at one of the biggest dog shows in the country. In the country. And but, a little happy on just walk behind her, too, Yeah, by it's the way. a little warm, yep. especially for a black dog. Yeah. So now this exercise is complete. Okay. And she should be walking the dog out on a loose leaf. Yeah. And there, see, she just called it back because yeah. mm -hmm. the dog was getting a little excited yeah. about being able to. There, what there a happy go. dog. Nice. That's what she liked to see. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of exuberance and a dog that's happy right. to do its job. Fantastic. Let's come and cut back here because the other guy who's going in, he wasn't very nice to some people yesterday, so we're not okay. going to put him on our video. But okay. um, we're going to go back here. We're going to have a little bit better light. And um, so what I want to do, I want to talk just a little bit more about the importance of obedience training, right? And again, this is my mission, right? Everybody who knows who follows me, oops, I'm not having a good time with the gimbal. Um, everybody who follows me on social media knows how much as, I always As talk do about. I, by oh, the way. Oh, okay, well, that's a huge compliment. Um, you know, I just wish every, like I always say, if every animal shelter in the world had an obedience class, how many more dogs could we save? Right, right? exactly. Millions. And um, how do we get that message out to people? Like, how do we tell people the importance of that? Like to train their dogs. Well, but there's nothing, you can't really get that kind of a connection yeah. without some sort of bonding between. Yeah. And that training is the bonding. I think so too, So, yeah. And it doesn't have to be for obedience. It can be for scent work. It yeah. can be for dock diving. Agility. I mean, there's so, agility. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many things that you can do you yeah. know, with your dog that build that kind of relationship. Yeah. Yeah. And if you've got a relationship with a dog, that dog is not going to the pound. No way, and that's what I always say, man, if every dog had the love we give our dogs, exactly. right? And people can do this. Have you ever trained a rescue dog personally yes. for yourself? You yes. have. Okay. And I've trained for the shelters too, okay. where, where the dogs have come in to be adopted. Right. And it's amazing if a dog knows how to sit, knows how to stay, yeah. knows how to down, does it maybe Loose a trick, leash, yeah. yeah, maybe a little spin yeah. or something. Yeah. Those dogs get adopted way yeah. before any of the other yeah, dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Rachel has some great books, and I'm gonna. She's gonna give us a couple of little manuals that we're gonna give away to some of the members Absolutely. and some YouTube followers. We'll have a little contest. So thank you so much. Right, you're you're the best. Welcome. You're such an inspiration to me and a great friend. Thank you. Very thank much. you. Okay, love give me a hug. Okay, love you too. Okay, great. So. I learned a lot. <laughs> See, people are learning a lot just by watching, just by watching the interviews. So, for some reason, the gimbal is not working perfectly, which doesn't matter. We're going to keep rolling here because we don't care. We want to keep going. Um, I'm going to go back to Best Buy and return this thing. It's going to go. It's going to go a little wonky here for a second, and I'm going to just do this here. And I got to talk to DJI why this is so screwed up. Every five minutes, the thing shuts off and goes. It does something weird. Let's go over here. I want to introduce you to somebody that I think you guys know and somebody I think you guys love because this is somebody that I love because I love her. I think I talk about her all the time. I talk about how much, I talk about how beautiful she is. I talk about how smart, how what an amazing trainer she is and she's going to put her hand up, but it just, that doesn't matter because I'm going to go right here and I'm going to go like this and I'm going to say, look at this. You don't get this that often. The beautiful Janet is hiding. I'm going to get her. She can't get away. Look at this. Look, look there's, there's 125 people looking want to see Janet. Come on. Oh, she can't do this. Hey, no, you can't do this. This is a, this is a No, look, just say hi to everybody. Say hi. They want to thank you for yesterday. Come on. 
Say hi. Janet's very, very shy. She's not going to say hi. So now that's up to you guys. Janet did not want to say hi, but we can say hi to Dwayne Amater. Let me say hi to Dwayne Amater here. We're going to come down here. Hey, Dwayne Amater. Hey, look, everybody wants to say hi to you. Dwayne, look at that. There's the Dwayne Amater who went in today. And okay, people are saying hi to Janet. Janet's kind of shy. We're going to get her on here, I promise. But um, Dwayne Amater did a little. He did a really nice job. We saw him out there. He's got some training to do. But you know what? We're just asking Rachel. You gotta keep going. Goofy has been training with me for almost nine years and he failed, right? But I don't stop. You know when you fail? When you stop. And that's what you don't want to do. See, Dwayne is licking a little bit. Dwayne, say hi. Here comes the Dwayne meter. Whoopsie daisies. The gimbal's not working well and then Dwayne, oh I know. Hi Janet and Dwayne made. We're saying hi to Janet, but let me flip this back around. Um, I swear we're gonna get Janet on a podcast because she's she's just the best. Don't we love Janet? Okay, I'm gonna walk around a little bit more, show you some more. This was, by the way, Janet's idea, and Janet's friend doesn't want to be on. Everybody's got an umbrella here. It's it's the middle of the summer in Palm Springs, and these women are carrying umbrellas. They don't want to be on there. That's what happens. Even I can't get everybody on there. That's that's what you get. Um, <laughs> That's very fun. Everybody's saying hi, Janet. Everybody's saying hi. So, you know, this live thing, I'm going to do this every once in a while from dog shows to kind of show you guys what goes on and uh, take you guys with me. You know, and we'll do more training videos from my member section. We'll do more, um, you know, more fun stuff that I think you guys love. So, here we go. I'm going to put this down a little bit. Oh, look at that beautiful light. By the way, this is the, one of the oldest dog shows in California and one of the biggest. There's, like I said, thousands and thousands of dogs here, which I think is so amazing. Rottweilers, little chihuahuas. Hi. I don't know who wants to be on camera. Obviously, Janet didn't want to be. I feel bad about that. Your mother in law is here. Well, that's great. Tell her to come say hi. There's been a bunch of people who said hi who know me from YouTube and know me from my membership section. Look at that tur turf right here. I'm going to show you a beautiful dog right there. That is in the Belgian Shepherd family, like Goofy. Not really good with the gimbal thing. I might need a gimbal lesson or something. Look at this. It's almost over. It's like, what time is it here? It's 1.54. Um, we've been here since about 7 o'clock this morning. Um, tomorrow I'm going to show some more obedience stuff I think you guys are really, really love. Uh, maybe we'll do like an opener utility routine, which is what Goofy and I are working on. Um, the novice thing is very, very cool. Rally, they're kind of wrapping it up. They, you know, they start really, 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 really early and then they wrap everything up. Take a look around here. Look at all these people. Uh, this is the ring over here where Goofy was, ring number eight. Let's walk over there and see what's going on over there. Just look at these dogs. That's the sky. That's the sky because I don't know how to use the gimbal. Yesterday somebody said, man, it looks so shaky. Get a gimbal. Today I got a gimbal and the, the darn thing is flopping all over the place. I don't know why. Uh, maybe somebody from DJI can call me and tell me why. Look at this. Of course, oh, this is, look at this beautiful dog right here. Oops, there's a the dog right there. It's hard to see this stuff in the sun. Look at that. That is a gorgeous dog right there. You mind if I show your dog on my YouTube channel? Look at that beautiful dog right there. What, what kind of dog is that? That's a Cane Corso. Now my friend Larry just got a new Cane Corso. So I'll be training this a, a dog just like this. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous dog. And the Corso is a Mastiff from where? Italy. From Italy. And how old is he? Oh, female. I'm so sorry. Okay. Hope she's not offended. What's your name? George. And are you showing her in confirmation? Is this her first time going through? Okay. Has she gotten any points yet? Okay. So we're working on the points for, and what's her name? And um, so a lot of the misconceptions about these dogs, they're aggressive and they're mean and stuff like that. If it, a dog like this comes from a good breeder and is really well trained, do we have anything to worry about? Socializing. Right, so and that's what we always talk about, right? Is socializing the dog around people, dogs, environment, right? Noise, right? What a gorgeous, gorgeous dog! I'm gonna get a little close up of her here, and we're gonna wish her all the luck to be a champion because that is that is a stunning, stunning animal. Thank you very much. And you can follow it on the YouTube channel, Robert Cabral. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, really appreciate you. So there you go. Look at this dog right here. This one we showed you before. What kind of dog is that? A smooth coat. Do you mind if I put you on, on my YouTube channel? Oh, okay. 
Just for a second. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna tilt tilt up. Now, um, are you showing her, or she's just yours? Okay. Okay. And she's absolutely gorgeous. So so there's smooth coated collie and there's rough collies. And what's the third one? Um, that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. And let's show that because she's just stunning. She's absolutely beautiful. And it's obviously a herding dog, right? Yes. And what, what, has she done anything? Has she done any training or obedience? Oh, yes. Um, you know, puppy obedience. Puppy obedience? Yes. But other than that, she's just a pet. And how important. It's so great to just take your pet to the dog show and, and get her socialized and, and show some of her friends and her cousins and stuff like that. Right. What's her name? Daisy. Daisy. Okay, so Daisy's going to say hi to you guys there. Look at that. Isn't that, she's a little shy, that's okay. She's absolutely gorgeous. So you can check the YouTube channel, Robert Cabral, if you want to say hi. So there we go. Let's keep walking. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Now look, you got a great Dane there. Look at this. And this, you know what I love about this is the variety of dogs you're going to get here. Right? Everybody, look at Mini Schnauzer there. How can you not be happy at a dog show? Right? If you have any kind of depression issues, just go to a dog show. Look at this. There's some more Corsos. A Great Dane. Do you notice none of these dogs are fighting? Do you notice none of these dogs are growling at each other or anything like that? Intact males, females, there's no fighting. There's no nothing bad. You know why? Because these dogs are trained. The dogs are socialized and that's something that you want to get. You can see a huge Mastiff like this guy here. Tell me that's not an epic looking dog. Epic, right? Gorgeous dog. Now over here, I'm going to Look at this, Dalmatians. Gorgeous. Gorgeous dogs. Look at that. A little puppy. There's a little baby asleep. We're going to pass past that. More Dalmatians. So obviously this is probably going to be, oh, what a surprise. Dalmatian specialty. Look at the Dalmatians coming up. Look at that. Tell me that. Now this is the puppy class. Dogs are judged separately from puppies to mature adults. And this is obviously the puppy class. Uh, Daryl Bice, Fantastic. The announcer's table. Daryl Bice, the announcer's table. Then over here, these look like Salukis. Those are for sure Salukis. And you know, there's, there's so many different breeds. I don't even know them all. You'd think I would, but I don't. Yeah. And all these people you see here, they all love dogs. That's what they have in common with you and me. They love dogs. I'm going to come back on the camera here. In case you guys missed me, here I am, I didn't go away. So, you know, we've got thousands of people, thousands of dogs, and dog lovers. Who doesn't love dog lovers? It's like you and I. Who doesn't love us? Because we love dogs. And, you know, the whole thing is to make the world a better place for dogs. It doesn't matter if they're rescue dogs, it doesn't matter if they're shelter dogs, obedience dogs, purebreds, mutts, whatever they are. Don't let anybody sell you on that whole hype bullshit of it's got to be a rescue dog or it's got to be a breeder dog. It's got to be a dog you love. And you've got to love the dog you get. So that dog never ends up in the shelter. That dog never ends up, you know, homeless or anything like that. You love that dog for all its life. And I think that's what's so important. Over here, we got the Ridgebacks, which you see these guys. I think I might've shown you guys Ridgebacks yesterday, didn't I? Let me see here. I'm gonna flip the camera around, watch. Don't miss me too much. Here, look at that. This is what you wanna see right here. Look at that. Tell me that's not gorgeous. Now they do the up and back. See? Look at that. Is that fantastic? Come on. The judge examines the dog. Like I said, from everything, from the confirmation of the size, the structure, everything about that dog. So you see, this is, he'll see the back end of the dog, and the girl will turn around and show the front end of that dog. Right? What an epic dog. They used to be, they used to be they're from Rhodesia, obviously, which used to be called Zimbabwe. And the myth about it is that they're lion hunters, which they weren't lion hunters. Thank you guys for all your comments there, Mariko, Loki, thank you so much. Isn't this amazing how beautiful this is? I mean, this is a blessing. I mean, not, not only the weather, but to be able to see these dogs and do this. And there's dog shows all over the country. The AKC is doing amazing stuff with dogs where they just show, and they have confirmation shows, they have obedience shows. And they're making people aware of these dogs, aware of the breed and the temperaments and all that. So, you know, 
you want to choose really carefully when you get a dog because there are so many different inherent qualities in the dogs, um, drives, personalities, and you know sometimes health concerns and stuff like that. You want to be kind of aware of that stuff. I'm here to come back. I'm really, I'm not really good with this gimbal thing. I hope you like it. But um, let's see if we can talk to somebody else. It's kind of fun talking to these people because they're all so friendly. You know why? Because they all love dogs. They're all dog lovers like you and me. Some of them are a little crazy. I'm a little crazy. If you watch shows like, you know, uh, Best in Show, Two Left Feet, literally, remember that? Great line. Um, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip this camera around. Now these are all the, the uh, Ridgebacks that either are, haven't gone in yet or are about to go in. Look at this. This is epic, right? Look at this, and you know what I wanna show you? This is what's amazing. There's no fighting, right? These dogs are well socialized, they're well bred, they're well trained, and what you're seeing here is exactly that. And there it is, in, in the ring, the best of the best, the best of the best. And look at this, dogs running by. You got some little Dobermans over here. Could that be any more beautiful? Come on. Now let's get over here. Look at this. Look at all these beautiful Ridgebacks. And like I said, what I think is the real important lesson to learn here is there's no fighting. And this is why I want you guys to take training your dog so to heart. Because if you train your dog, this is what you get, right? It doesn't have to be a purebred dog, by the way. Every dog needs to be trained. Every dog needs to be socialized. Every dog deserves a fair shot. Because when dogs are like this, they get homes. And when dogs are like this, oh my God, look at this mini schnauzer. I mean, mini, uh, mini uh, dachshund. Oh my God. This, this kills me. This is the most, so cute. Look at, and you got the little Dobermans. Right? There's no issues here, look. Super happy, beautiful dogs. Look at that. Who's that? Not even. This is a perfect example of well socialized dogs. I'm doing a little thing for my YouTube channel. So just showing people how when puppies and dogs are socialized and trained, how important it is, how they don't end up in shelters, how we love our dogs, and we do the socializing and showing them to further the breed and educate them, right? Absolutely. Now, it's all do, about the preservation of the breed, socializing yeah. them, keeping them in good shape. Now, are you a breeder for the Dachshunds? I'm with the Meyerhoff Dachshunds. Can I do a little quick interview? Because we have a Dachshund, a 17-year-old sure. rescue Dachshund at home. So, sure. okay, I'm going to turn this around. I've got somebody here who is willing to talk to us on camera, which I think is fantastic. I'm going to go to the other side because the sun is going to look a lot better. On this. Now, what's your name? I'm Laura Garrett. Laura Garrett. I'm Robert Cabrales from my YouTube channel. Nice and, to meet you. And you all know Bosman, how much I love Bosman, more than life itself. And I'm going to I'm going to show you a little guy here. This is might be the cutest thing I've seen at the show. Actually, this is Miss Greta Garbo. Miss Greta Garbo, and sorry. She's a grand champion. Oh my God! Look at that. She actually won um, select at Westminster Kennel Club. So oh my she's God. Famous in Orange County, California. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, she's actually had uh, four offsprings, two of which. We're champions. Wow. She loves coming to the dog show and socializing with everyone. So and she's a great representative of the breed. An epic representative. I'm going to put you back on camera with me. So let's talk a little bit about things. I want to, I want people to know what does that mean to be a grand champion. Now, Goofy, my Malinois, just got his championship, right? He's a Belgian Malinois. But tell me what it means to be a grand champion. Well, there's just different levels mm -hmm. of where you compete, and the first level you want to get to is your championship title. Right. And then after that, you decide, well, you know, am I going to go the next ring up? And yeah. that's going for a grand champion right and then there's other levels above that but we pretty much finished at our grand champion level mm -hmm. we were happy to be at that point mm -hmm. and at that point Greta was uh, going to be bred uh -huh. so we put our little, other little babies in the ring okay. and uh, we got champions out of those kids so let's let's tell the people because this is what some people don't understand they go well, why would you show a dog it's so vain it's so that what I try to educate people on is the importance of the structure of the dog and the health of the dog how many health checks we do on these dogs and everything right it's it's all about the, the breeding, the pedigree. Mm -hmm. The health is so important. Yeah. And every breed has its oh, tendencies oh, yes. for difficulties and various elements of structure. So when we breed, we want to breed to the best of the best, yeah. hoping that we're going to improve the breed. And that's why we're called preservation breeders. Preservation breeders. And that's so important because we love dogs. We want that to continue. We want Absolutely. healthy dogs. Because when people just breed in backyards and sell on Craigslist and do all this crap. You don't know what you're getting. You don't know what you're getting. Most often times people run into a lot of trouble, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of expense. Let's and talk about that. And unfortunately a lot of situations where they lose that 
yeah. a dear, dear pet of theirs. And how painful it is for one, the puppy that's not healthy. Absolutely. Right? And then how, how miserable it is for the dogs that are breeding, that are living in these cages, and, and they're never health checked. So we're just further in pain for the dogs and for people who are getting them, right? A absolutely, yeah. absolutely. You're, you're right on topic, and I, I wish you the best with your channel because you're Thank doing you. a great service for all of the breeds just Thank doing you. what you're doing. That's what we do. I work with shelters. I work with purebred dogs, everything in, in the world. So check out RobertCabral.com. Thank you so much for your time. I really greatly you're appreciate quite it. You're welcome. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Thank Take you. care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, so see what I mean? I mean, like, where can you get people that are just going to talk to you like this and be honest about the breed? I'm going to fix the camp, the gimbal that got all screwed up again. I'm going to turn it back on. This is really driving me a little nutty. Okay, it's going to go cockeyed for one second, and then I'm going to do this. There we go. And I'm back. And I don't know why it's doing that. It keeps doing that. It keeps going whoop, cockeyed. Um, maybe DJI can tell me about that because I just spent 150 bucks on this damn thing. So I'm going to flip this around because we got more dogs in front of me. And you get to see me all the time. But um, let's see what we got here in front. Whoops. We don't want to really get people in there. Look at that. Look at this here. Gorgeous. You know, you've got to appreciate the beauty in all these different breeds. Look at that dog. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see if we can get somebody else to, to talk to. I, you know, I'll tell you something. I love bringing this, these videos to you. I hope you enjoy these because, you know what? If you love dogs, educate yourself about dogs. Don't just educate yourself about the one dog you have. This might be the cutest thing. Look at that. Oh my God. That is absolutely adorable. And look at this here. And look at this. Now, see, the dogs like this, they're kept in crates. Remember, I always tell you guys about crate training. And when you keep them in crates, it keeps them safe, keeps them structured, keeps them happy. Look at that thing. That is adorable. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So, here we go. Let's go. Oh, German Shepherds. German Shepherds are in the ring, guys. We're going to head over here. You're going to love, love, love this. I'm going to get you over here really quick. Oh, one of the, one of the handlers fell down. Let's, we're going to ignore that. Here we go. So I think you're going to love this. I'm going to go, I'm going to roll a little bit longer here. Hi. Oops. Okay, now here's the German Shepherds. Oh, and I met this judge before. He's a really, really cool guy. Really loves, um, knows a lot about the breed. Oh, no, that's not him. Maybe it is. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm just talking. I'm just rambling on. Oh, they're all gone. We lost them. We missed all the German Shepherds. I hope well, you saw them at a distance. Oh, there's more coming? Okay, yeah, great. I think that was either Winner's Bitch or Winner's Dog. Oh, okay. Get all the specials in. Okay, so now they're bringing in the specials. And the specials means these are dogs that already have championships on them. So they're already, like we talked to the other person about the grand championship. If you're going to go for a grand championship, you need to get past the championship. And that's what we're looking at here. And the other ring over there, I can't I tell what that is. Yeah. Some kind of hounds or something. Um, can't tell, but it doesn't matter. We're going to go for the German Shepherds. Oh, look at this. Okay, here we go. Now these are gorgeous. Look at how beautiful this dog is. And I'm going to tell you something. You go inside that tent. I'm going to take you in that tent in a minute um, and show you how these dogs... Now, German Shepherds always show at the end of a long line. And my friend Abai, um, if you're watching Abai, say hello, um, breeds amazing German Shepherds. And his German Shepherds are um, doing IPO and everything like that. So let's watch these dogs. Look at this. Look how gorgeous these dogs are. Look at this. I'm going to pan over here a little bit. I'm sorry, I can't read your comments. I'm not wearing my glasses. You want to see something amazing? Look at this. Look at this dog. Whoops. Hang on. Oops. All right, I'm going to pass on that because I couldn't get over there in time. Look, look how gorgeous this is. Look at these dogs. One, two, three, four. Now, these are special. So these are dogs that have already gotten their championships, right? And are now... I'm going to walk a little bit closer there so you can see this. And you're going to see when these dogs start moving how beautiful they are. Right? So you see that guy throw a treat? So what he does is he tries to get the dog's head up. Okay. And this guy, that guy in the red hat, that's the AKC judge. This is the guy who makes all the decisions. And he's making it based on a lot of different things for these dogs. Okay, now what? He's, you're going to see these people going around. By the way, there's... Like I said, I said it a few times, there's thousands of dogs here. Okay, now watch. There he goes, around. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Is this a thing of beauty or what? Now, there's a saddle. Uh, 
It's kind of more of a black end, but they're all kind of that standard saddle, which is more of the show lines. Let's see. And the thing with the German Shepherds, it kept them much longer lines than other dogs. Oops, there we go. Look at that. Is that beautiful? This is a long video. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys stay tuned in. Whoops, sorry about that. Now here, I'm gonna just show you one so you don't get bored, but here's this dog showing. This is what's called the stack. And you'll see the dog in there. So they stack, which shows the front line of the dog beautifully, a nice straight front line. And the shepherds, they like this angulation on the back, which not big on too much angulation, but this is actually beautiful. And because of the way the dog is stacked, see that back leg going out like that, that stack looks more exaggerated, right? But they're gonna check the dogs overall, the hips, they're gonna check the, the, the conformation, the chest, the tail, the legs, and also check if they're intact. That's a quick little check there. So there you go. I'm gonna walk you through the breed uh, tent here. I hope I don't get thrown out because I wanna show you something. I wanna show you how many dogs there are in one place. Look at this. Look at how many dogs there are here. Okay. Dogs and dog lovers. You probably can't hear me because it's so loud in here. But what's amazing is, look at this. Look at, look at these beauties. Look at this. this Bull Terrier. Yeah, this, here's, here's a breed that's known for being kind of aggressive. But I'm going to show you something. This is going to floor you. Look at this. Look at these dogs. Look at these dogs. How beautiful. All these dogs. One more beautiful than the next. And I think they're wonky again. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm getting really pissed at DJI that they, 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 this damn thing can't work. It's just blinking and it's not working. Um, there we go. So now we're in. in. <laughs> It's gonna go wonky. Hang on one second. I'm gonna come right back. There it goes wonky. There we go. All right. I don't know. I'm really pissed with DJ. I spent 150 bucks to make this better for you guys, but it's all screwed up. Look at all these dogs here. Oops, I'm gonna tilt. There we go. There we go. No dogs over there. Look at this. All right, so anyway, I'm going to come back on camera here, talk to you guys. And so here I am. This is the breed tent, right? So outside there's rings on both sides. There's, there's two of these tents. So there's, oh, you see me. Um, there's hundreds and hundreds of uh, dogs being shown at any one time. And amazingly, oh my God. I mean, you know, if you walk around here, so you cannot not fall in love with one of these dogs. Really amazing. Here, I'm gonna run into somebody, I can tell you that right now. And there's a dog for every person, right? And there should be a person for every dog, which has always been my thing. That we should really, um, my God, you wanna see something adorable? Look at this guy, hang on. Look at that, is that adorable? What kind of dogs are those? Look at, that's a bearded collie. Now you saw the smooth coat of collies before. These are bearded collies. And what's, what's his name, her name? Bubbles. This is Bubbles. Bubbles is a bearded collie. Hi, hi Bubbles. <laughs> Let me get you a little bit better video of her. And is she showing today? She did, yeah. And how did she do? She placed in our class. That's fantastic. Has she got her championship yet? No, this is her first show. Oh, first show. Well, this is, you're seeing her first show for Bubbles. And who's, oh my God. And I love her shoes. And uh, who is this one? This is her brother, Swiffer. Swiffer? Now, could there be a better name for a bearded collie than Swiffer? That is fantastic. Now, has, has Sw a Swiffer shown yet? Not yet. Okay, but we're going to show Swiffer. We're, these are going to be two. These support the, family. support the family. And you know what you got to think about is what you're seeing here are the future champions because that's what's so important. Thank you so much. Love, love your dogs. Thank you. It's nice you're doing that. Thank you. Robert Cabral, YouTube. You'll check it out if you want. Robert Cabral on YouTube. Yeah. So, anyway. That's, I'm going to wrap it up because this has been going on for a long time and Janice is probably wondering where I am, which I hope she doesn't, doesn't wonder, doesn't get mad at me. I just disappear, right? I mean, and I did try to put her on camera for you guys to see, but we're gonna, I'm going to let her get set up because, you know, girls, that was kind of wrong of me. Um, girls want to put on lipstick, even though she's beautiful without it. 
You just want to put on lipstick. I don't care. Me, you get me out of bed in the morning, I'm ready to be on TV, ready to be on, the, on, on YouTube. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoy this YouTube. I hope you enjoy this because this is what I'm passionate about, and this is the passion I want to share with you. By the way, over here, you might hear some very familiar barking, and that is the Bosman. The Bosman comes with us to dog shows, 17 years old. We love him more than anything, and you can hear him barking in there because he's just the most adorable thing on the planet. Oops. I, 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 you know, I really, really hate this thing, this uh, gimbal there. I'm back. You, know, you might think I'm drunk or something like that, but I'm not. Um, just having a really, really, really have time. Um, what did you say? Worth, worth it. I love. Okay, well, I'm glad you liked it. Anyway, sorry about the screwy gimbal thing because that was kind of annoying. But anyway, um, hope you liked today's video on teaching your dog the down on recall. Uh, please follow YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and consider joining my membership section where there's tons of videos on dog training and make you a better dog trainer, better dog owner, better dog handler. And I'll see you next time. Take care. How do we turn this off? There we go.